Hey guys, Hasib here. Welcome to this video. And in this video, I'm going to talk about setting up an IVR system. IVR system is a very powerful feature offered by Go High Level. And what that means is interactive voice response. So if you have a number, you can receive phone call to the number and then based on what they select, like press one for this, press one for that, in simple terms, based on what they select, what they choose to do, you could perform multiple types of automations in that phone call. So setting up uh, an IVR system in Go High Level is super simple. You just need to create one single workflow, which I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's go to automation. I mean, uh, one of the accounts, uh, one of the sub accounts, I'll create a workflow from scratch because I want to show you from the very beginning how it works in detail. So I'll say IVR. So this trigger for an IVR workflow will be, let's type IVR here, start IVR trigger. And it's going to ask you what phone number you're going to use to perform an IV IVR. So I'll select just one of these. Uh, and then let's look at the filters. So these are just custom values. So there's no other filter needed for starting an IVR system. So when a call comes in, it's going to instantly start an IVR. So I'm going to go down from here. I'm going to say IVR. So first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to say, say or play. Uh, this is the first action we're going to say. So say a message. So you, you could either say, you could either type it and the automated bot will uh, speak it, but you could also do a voice recording if you want to do it. But I'll just choose to say a message here. Hello. Welcome to Radvisi. And then it could be a man or a woman. Number of loops, how many times you want to play it? Just once. That's our first uh, action on an IVR. So the second action we're going to perform is, let's go down, gather input on call. So now we are starting to select or starting to gather the input from the user or whoever called us. So again, say a message. I'm going to say press one to learn about our services press two for uh, leaving a voicemail press three for speaking to one of our agents and then the language will be us it will be played by us say by women it could also uh, it could be played twice here right and uh, if you want to go through any other uh, any other uh, advanced settings, like how, ma how many seconds do you want to wait for gathering the input? It's five seconds. That's fine. Stop gathering on key press if you want to do that. I'm not doing that now. So that's it, right? So now what we're going to do is I'm going to just go ahead and... So it, it's, basically, it's basically asking for input, right? So now what we're going to do is we're gonna just go ahead and create an if else branch so let's create an if else i'm gonna say input gathering the branch could be one selected one you know and here i'm gonna say ivr gather gather input on call digits is one so in this branch this branch will execute if the user selects one that's again to just to show you go to uh, IVR gather gather input on call is one so digits is one next thing selected two so I'm gonna say IVR gather same thing is two this one will be selected free IVR gather gather input digits is three and uh, selected none so this none branch will execute if they didn't select anything or any other digit so that's pretty simple right so I'm gonna save action and what did we say we would do press one to learn about our services press two leaving a voicemail press three for speaking uh, to one of our agents. So let's start with selected one. Now they selected one, they want to learn about our services. So the thing we could do is uh, we can do uh, say our play message because we're just gonna talk about the services. So I'm gonna say uh, we provide roof repair, roof installation, insurance, roof 
flames and roof replacements number of times okay that's fine so that's the first one right select the two so what do we want to want to do we want to gather a, a like a voicemail so they'll be saying the voicemail and we'll be recording it that's why the IVR trigger or, or the, sorry the action will be record voicemail so let's do this record voicemail play beep okay stop recording after let's do 10 seconds all right stop recording on key press all right so th if they record the voicemail and then th they press hash it will stop the recording uh, or stop gathering the voice input right so max recording length could be that's fine say or play message so uh, before the user starts speaking so you you need to say please record your message after the beep because it's beeping and then press hash once you are done recording simple right okay so that's recording voicemails number three if they want to talk to an agent so we need to connect this call to one of our agents so we need to do connect call and then we can select user so we can do uh like whoever is in that sub account so these are the, are the users in the sub account i'm going to do one of these uh let's do red ray you can also add custom numbers so detect voicemail record call you can record a call timeout so this call is going to be uh like ringing for 30 seconds that's timeout that's it so connect call selected none if they select a uh, none we could just go do a go to so we will do uh go to save action and go to the beginning or maybe if you don't want this to happen you could just delete this action from here and then uh and the call right you could just uh, uh you did not select anything please try calling later and that's the end right so that's pretty much a really uh, very simple ivr system for any business I, I would say if you want to add more options you know how to do that just keep adding uh like keep adding the inputs here and then just keep adding branches based on what you offered them as options. And that's it. That's how to set up an IVR uh, workflow in Go High Level. Hope this video was helpful and I will see you in the next one.